talk about this particular uh, ball game. Uh, just so much went wrong, and is this one just going to kind of tear up the film and not look no, at us anymore? No, you never do that. Never do that. We were right there in the first half. We were playing very good ball in the first half, but uh, they punched us in the mouth early in the second half, and we didn't respond to it. And and um, um, we had nobody respond to it. And, and no one took the bull by the horn, so to speak, to rally the team. But again, it was, we just did not get back defensively as well. Uh, we started try start trying to, to take things in our own hands offensively. And we got to make some adjustments. We got to, we got to do things a little bit different. Today was uh, the first time somebody has just absolutely came at us that way uh, in that second half. Because the first half, we were doing a lot of good things. We were giving up some points, but we were scoring points. We were right there. And, but we didn't come out with the same fervor in the second half, and they did, and they turned it up, and then we did not respond, uh, even when it was 12, 14, 15, 16 in that area, when it's still such a winnable ball game. And there's, it, it, I think it was 18, 20 with 12 minutes to go. That's a lifetime of basketball. But today, when they were looking back at me, they weren't believing me, right? There was, there was too, much, too much quietness, uh, too much into our own feelings, too much pouting, whatever it is, it didn't manifest itself in being together enough and uh our youth our newness whatever it is those things came out because no one really responded and uh tried to lead the team through it and and um that that hurt us no doubt about it uh, hey coach uh, the other night you talked about you know against lsu there was communication breakdowns that led to open threes tonight arkansas shoots uh 57 from three for the game was it is that communication breakdowns? Is that the lack of execution? Is that sort of the getting it's effort? Feelings you it was, it was effort. Jed, it was effort tonight. It was effort. Communication falls under effort. Uh, um, communication falls under effort. Uh, hustle back and transition falls under effort. Guarding the first dribble falls under effort. Giving up drives. It just, it, it's, that's all effort related. It, it, it's, it's, it, I'd love to put it and say, hey, we just didn't call this out or we didn't call that out. That's part of it. But our effort was not n nearly good enough on guarding the ball. All right, up next, let's have Mike Griffith and then Chip Towers. <clears throat> hey, Coach. Um, just watching, it looked like when Tamari picked up those two fouls in a 19-second stretch there, that, that, you know, that, that kind of looked like the knockout punch. I wanted to ask you about those calls, and, and there was an out-of-bounds call. It just – I know you'd never point to officiating, but at some point, do you almost feel like it, you know, the, the ball's rolling against you? I know you don't get teed up much, but is there any? Well, here's the problem. Here's the problem. We had it today. Our kids are way too worried about calls, right? And it's, um, they're, they're too worried about it. You just got to move on, right? You have to move on. And, um, yeah, I'm not commenting on officiating. You know that. I mean, the last thing I'm doing in any of these situations is giving away my own money in any situation. I'll never, never do that. So it's, it's not worth it. I make my points behind the scenes and, and see what happens with it. But, but um, um, we've got to be able to overcome that, right? Especially on the road. You've got to be able to overcome that. You, you, you've got to be able to, whatever is consistent or inconsistent in a game, you've still got to do what you do. And, and we did not do enough of that today. I'm sorry, I can't add more, Mike. I just, I just, not going, not going further on the officiating thing. You understand, right? I, I do. I totally understand. Yes. Yeah. Coach, uh, just it, it, it's hard to uh, evaluate from this end. The first half versus the second half, and exactly. offense versus defense. Did you feel like this was more of an offensive or defensive failing? And just what's the difference in the two halves? I didn't like our spirit and energy, and I think it hurt us both. I don't. I think we didn't respond when they came out, and and it was a six point game at half. We didn't respond when they jumped on us there a little bit. And um, that, that, that's what bothers me the most. There, there was a lack of response. So it affects offense and defense. But um, we've got to get through that. And, and, and there's, no, there's no doubt about it because, because we, we will not be very good if we play. Our, our selfishness of being involved in our own mind today was very, very high. And that's not how you win. We were very, very immature in that second half. And I was trying a lot of different ways to get us out of it. I was trying to stay as positive as I could with it, but but uh, I, I didn't have a lot of I didn't have a lot of foot soldiers with me today on that when it came to just taking the bull by the horns and taking responsibility on the floor to help get their teammates situated, and 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 it hurt us. All right, up next, let's have Davis Baker and then Ryan Curley. 
Uh, Coach, this has been one of the few games where you've been uh, out-rebounded, especially when Vanover only played three minutes. Was that an effort thing as well? Um, yeah, we didn't do enough. Yeah, you, you know, Tamani Kamara had, what, 16 boards the other night? And he had zero tonight, right? I mean, it's, it's – uh, um, we didn't come out for a 40-minute battle. And so when you come out for a 40-minute battle, rebounds – or a huge part of that. I think the rebounding was four or five at half, but um, no, we weren't, we weren't nearly as active as we needed to be. Uh, we weren't nearly as full of energy getting on the offensive glass or getting on the defensive glass as we needed to be. And uh, which in turn makes our break go. And we just didn't do that. Hey coach, when Kamara is on the bench for long stretches of time because of foul trouble, who do you kind of expect to to step in and bring you points in the paint and uh, rebounding? Well, I think Andrew, you know, we would like it to be Ty McMillan, but he's got to come in more prepared to play. He's got to come in more with a, with a, with a better mindset than that. And, and uh, we would like it to be him. Um, but I think Andrew Garcia is, is, a, is a big factor there, but we need Ty McMillan to, to really step up and help us. There's no doubt. All right, and the final question goes to Mark Weiser. Tom, I want to ask you, uh, you know, three games into uh, SEC play, do you feel like you guys uh, can, can make progress this season you know, like you want? Or, you know, I know it's discouraging on a night like this, but what big picture question there? Well, I don't have – yeah, I can't go to the big picture. I really can't because it, the season just started. I mean, we'd, we'd have played our 10th game on December 22nd last year after we got back from Arizona State. I mean, it, it's uh, – the second half was tough. The first half we were right where we needed to be. Uh, but in the second half, you know, the wheels came off of us and we had nobody that was that, that wanted to get greasy and put the wheels back on, you know, on the floor. So I'm, I'm just more concerned right now about making sure we bounce back from this and get ready for Auburn. All right. Thanks so much.